Now next is the velocity. What do you mean by velocity? Velocity is the rate of change of position and position is displacement. The rate of change of displacement is known as velocity. Velocity is speed with direction. If a speed is having direction that is known as velocity and if we explain it if any quantity having magnitude and direction both that is considered to be as a vector quantity the so speed may have positive uh, velocity may have positive value may have negative value and zero as well it has the quantity nature that is vector quantity how it can be positive negative and zero if you are moving from a to b then this displacement is a b and the displacement is positive then speed velocity is positive if you are returning from this point to this point in that situation displacement is zero so velocity is zero if you are going back from the initial position in that case the displacement is negative if displacement is negative then velocity is negative so it is a vector quantity and the dis velocity is having the same unit as that of speed that is meter per second now the types of velocity what are different types of velocity similar to the speed first one is uniform velocity when an object is having equal displacement traveling equal displacement in equal interval of time in place of distance here we replace the word displacement that is uniform velocity if non uniform is what when a body is traveling unequal displacement in equal interval of time or if you have the equal displacement in unequal interval of time that is known as non uniform velocity or variable velocity then average velocity average velocity of an object is the total displacement traveled by total time taken now question is here how we can calculate the displacement displacement is the difference between the final position and the initial position by subtracting these two values you can find the displacement and you can write in terms of formula that is x2 minus x1 divided by t2 minus t1 if it is taken that this change is very very small we write it as delta x and if this is again time interval is very small change having then delta t is very very small so this delta x by delta t is representing the average value and in instantaneous value we convert this average value to the instantaneous value again what is instantaneous velocity it is the velocity of an object to a very small interval of time when we are considering a very small part of the time that is a fraction of seconds in that case what we will do we calculate v is equal to delta x by delta t this is the average value to this average value we will apply the limit the limit delta t tends to 0 and this is converted to delta x by delta t this arrow is representing you the vector quantity and we can say this instantaneous velocity is the first derivative first derivative means one differentiation one time differentiation of displacement this is known as and second if we call about the second derivative d2x by dt square it means you are having two times differentiation of this x so this velocity is one time differentiation of the displacement next question is what is the condition when the magnitude of average speed and average velocity are equal you have done it in class 9th also when the distance and displacement both are equal if both are equal in that situation the velocity and the speed becomes equal and what is that situation when the object is moving only in a single straight line strictly in a single straight line and along the one direction 